Hello, my name is uh, Mr. Namorado. I am the technology teacher leader here at Central High School. And what I'm going to show you today is how to use our online platforms that are very uh, necessary for, uh, for our online classes this year. So um, first step is, uh, as you can see, I'm using a computer here. Uh, you can use your mobile devices, such as a phone and so on, but there are some little different procedures to work with that. But if you're using a Chromebook or a computer, um, it would look like this, this portion. <clears throat> so the, uh, the first thing that you would need to do is to go to, to the actual Phila sd.org website this is the school district of philadelphia website and uh, to do just about everything you need to go here so when you go to the website you will have to log in all right now if you are new to the school district of philadelphia i sent out a uh, i sent out your student id number as well as your um uh, uh, temporary password for you to start your account and uh, you would log in here uh, with that information and then it would ask you um, some information for security questions and so on and then it would your account would then be established so you will also <coughs> uh, need that information when anytime you do anything including when you're working with our Google uh, platform and let me just clarify for Google platform is, is that that is through the school district you you are going to get an email um, that is going to be your student ID number at philasd.org and that is your school district ID uh, for our online system and uh, a Google account is created under that email address for you uh, you cannot use your personal Google accounts at all with any of these platforms it only works through here um, and I will demonstrate the benefits of that. We actually, since we have a paid platform version of that, uh, you have unlimited storage and many other capabilities. So uh, once you've uh, established your account, you are going to need to log in. All right. So um, I have a. Uh, Okay. All right. So my platform looks a little bit different because of, I'm, I'm on the teaching end. But regardless, I have to do the same exact thing as you do. All right. Uh, in order for me to access my Google Apps, I have to go into the Phil SD portal and log in. Okay. I opened up a new tab. I'm on my I'm on um, my Google screen here. It's Google.com, and I'm already logged in. As you can see, I have my thing here as a result of logging in through the school district portal. And what I'm going to show you over here is this uh, menu area where it says Google Apps. Some people call this a waffle. I'm going to move myself around here. All right. As a matter of fact, I am going to turn that off. All right. So in here you have a list of all of the apps that are available uh, for us. And uh, the main ones you need to really uh, concentrate on is, is Google Classroom. All right. Another would be Google Drive. And there are other apps here that for our parents are not really familiar with any of these things. But um, students don't need to have Microsoft Office uh, on a computer or anything like that. They can do everything online through Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides and so on. And these creates documents um, right through the website. And uh, it's almost as powerful as Microsoft Office. It creates the it, it creates exactly what they will need um, for, for what they have to do for school. So what I'm going to show you here is the, I'm going to go down to the Google Classroom. Oh, by the way, there's also, there's more apps and you kind of scroll down. Um, so, but we're going to go into Google Classroom. So I've already, uh, so everybody's going to have a Google Classroom account. And, and what's going to happen, this is what appears on the screen are these boxes. In this case here, uh, these are all classes that I either teach or I belong to. So yours is gonna look very similar uh, to this. And um, we are preloading all of our students in the Google Classrooms. So you really will not have to do anything uh, for your regular classes, but you can add additional classes because this is something that you can use with your own, um, you know, like within your clubs and so on, if you wanted to create a quote, quote, a classroom for all of you to get together in. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you one that I belong to. This is the Barnwell Library. Our librarian, Mr. Lobron, created this um, for, for the library. And when I click on, on there, it brings up this screen. And this is what we call the stream. Okay. So in the stream here is um, uh, all the announcements that your teachers are going to give you. Uh, and that could be about upcoming assignments or an activity going on or whatever. Um, this is like your, this is your, it's almost like a social media stream of news. Okay. And it's all in chronological order. Over here on the left, you're going to see this area for upcoming. Um, all new assignments will be listed there in order to give you a reminder when things are due for this particular class. Uh, I'm going to go into the classwork tab. All right. And uh, over here has a list of the actual assignments. Now, these are sorted by topics. Your teacher may create these uh, topic by topic. Uh, the um, and that's up to the teacher, but it usually could be where it's chapter one or in this, in this case here, I'm, I'm only using the library in one because it's the only one that I have active right now, but it, it, everything is the exact same. So uh, when there are uh, an assignment that would be posted, all right, okay, all right, so in this case here, uh, there is a, uh, there's a document in on here, or in this, actually, I believe that's a link. Um, so I'm going to go in and try to have one where he actually, okay. So in this one here, it says view assignment. So I'm going to click on this view assignment. And normally in this case here, the teacher would put a assignment information and so on about what is due, um, how much it's worth and so on. But over here on the right is, is, is this is the key part you need to see is the, uh, your work. This is how you add and you submit your work to your Google Classroom. So when you need to submit something to a teacher through Google Classroom, they will create it as an assignment. They will have this interface on there. And you have a you quite, quite a few options here of how to submit your work. So um, if I click on Add or Create, it brings down this menu. Um, you, can, uh, you can upload the document to uh, the Google Classroom. One is through your Google Drive, which I'll get more into, but that's just a storage area, a free online cloud storage area for all of your schoolwork. Um, it's a link if, if it's if it was you, your assignment was to go find some type of website. And then a file. That uh, could be a picture. It could be a, a Microsoft Office document. It could be whatever is required or what was asked for. And that is coming from your device. You also have the option of creating um, uh, your your assignment right in here. Google Docs is the equivalent is a word processing uh, program. Google Slides is a presentation uh, app, uh, very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, Sheets is a uh, spreadsheet program, very similar to Microsoft Excel. And Drawings is simply a, a place where you can actually uh, add, you know, pictures and so on. So I'm going to go into Docs. And what'll happen is, is that it's all, it's it's going to actually start creating a doc. It's going to open up another tab for me on my browser. And here we go. <coughs> and <coughs> if I wanted to change the name of the uh, title, I can just go right up on here of the name of the file, and I can basically you know type my whole assignment here. All right, uh, do whatever it takes. And then when I am done. Oh, by the way, this will always save it in real time. There's no, you don't have to save it as you go along. Google saves as you go. So if I were just to click at right out of this, and I can come right back into it, and it'll be exactly where it was, which is great. Uh, but uh, when I am done, I will go up to this button here to turn in. All right, and from there, uh, it is going to submit my document directly into. Okay. And uh, I'm going to turn it in. I'm going to confirm that. So, um, and there we go. And um, so I can, I can take it back. It depends on how the teacher has it set up. All right. Um, but the, um, you know, if I need to go work on it again or so, it's right here. So, uh, but a lot of times that once you submit it, you can't do any of those things. So, but that's how you would submit your documents and, and other things to your teachers. So when you want to go to a different classroom, 
you simply go up here to where it says main menu and all your classes are listed here in, in order uh, of what you last used. And or if you, if I, you could just click on that classes and it brings up the big pictures. So um, so that's it for, for really for Google Classroom. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one more thing. Uh, if you need to manually add yourself to a class or you need to, um, or, if, or even if you're like working in a club and you wanna create one, so what I'm going to show you here, let me go into, um, there is a code that the, um, you know, I think I may have to show you on my end because whoever is organizing the, uh, the account, okay, so this is what it looks like from the teacher and a teacher would have to give you this code. There is a code here. And when you were to, if you wanted to, um, so whoever is organizing that class or organizing that group would have to give you that code. Uh, you would click on the plus and just click on join class and it's going to ask you for that class code. And then you would type it in there and then you would enter and that's all you would have to do. But you don't have to do that for all your classes at, at Central right now because of uh, the roster office automatically puts you into those classes. But in the event something kind of messes up or whatever and, and you have to kind of manually add yourself to a class, um, that's where you would you would go with that, all right? And uh, you can also create a class as well and that's where you can kind of create your own if you're doing one for your own, for like a club or so, and you can kind of create all these different um, you know things so some students actually do that on their own so um the other apps on here so uh, i already showed you what what google docs does um I, what i'm going to show you on here is uh the google drive so google drive is a free storage area that you can store all of your student work so uh this is, has unlimited storage unlike the regular free google accounts that it only gives you i believe it's 15 gigabytes um, you have unlimited storage on this, so but only use it for schoolwork, all right? Because the moment you are no longer a student um, in, in the school district of Philadelphia, they, they give you one year to uh, to get everything out of there, and then after that, you can't recover your files. So don't keep anything personal in there. Just keep, keep it with school, and also anything that is in there, the school district could access as well. So, uh, but. Uh, this is your online storage area where you can store things. You can upload files to it. You can create um, things. You can go right from the Google menu here to create files. Um, and you can also share files um, with that. That's going to be I'll, – I'll post other videos on those advanced features. Uh, I'm just trying to familiarize you with the various things that you will see here, at least the main things. But the main things you're, you really need to understand is Google Classroom, all right? Um, as for uh, mail, okay, so uh, you will be getting, uh, you do have school district mail. Uh, you would go onto the Gmail interface. And with the Gmail, uh, your, your email address, again, is going to be whatever your student ID number is. So it could be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at phillasd.org. That is going to be your school district email. Uh, you can access that all through by clicking on the Gmail here under your school district account. And uh, what you can also uh, watch, and what I highly recommend that you do is you also add the Google Drive account, the Google Classroom account uh, to your mobile device. This way you can access your, uh, your schoolwork from there, uh, as well as add your Gmail um, uh, you can add this, uh, the fill SD, uh, email address to your current Gmail address, if you have one or to the app. Uh, and that will ensure, I, I, I can't emphasize this enough that the, the, the point of, of having classroom and Gmail on your phone is to get information from your teachers, uh, on the actual apps themselves. It's, I'm not I'm working on that platform here, but to make sure your notifications are on. So that when a teacher posts something, that you will know it, you will know in real time of what exactly it is, and, and that you have something. Uh, the same thing with the Gmail. So the, these are the only ways in which your teacher can communicate with you. So uh, if you don't turn the notifications on, or if you turn them off, 
um, you're going to be missing out on that. And, and, uh, you know, and to get to the point, the idea is, is that, um, you can't say you didn't know something was due because if, if the teacher posted it and with the due dates and everything, and, and you just didn't check, that's on you. So, uh, we are really emphasizing that you need to install these apps on your phones, uh, and to, um, you know, and to make sure notifications are on. And again, since these are, um, th this is through Google, but the school district pays for it. There's no, there's no data mining or anything like that. So if any parents are concerned about privacy issues, uh, all the information in here is contained with, with basically within the app in the school district of Philadelphia. So, um, so there's a lot of privacy and a lot of safety, you know, um, you know, concerns out there with, with various cloud services. Um, you, there, you, don't, you don't need to worry with this. Everything is, is secure. It's not going to be used by third parties and commercial solicitation and things like that. So, um, so anyway, uh, there is a calendar feature in which you can, um, you know, you can set, you know, your, when, whenever an assignment is actually created on your Google, um, uh, on your Google uh, Classroom, um, it should actually appear here. All right, so you'll actually even see it there. So once again, you you do not need to worry about um, you know missing assignments and so on if you just keep up with all of these things. So that's that's really really key to you you keep up with these. So all right, um, just a um, a couple other housekeeping. Uh, tips. Once we get back in the building, um, and uh, if we are using, uh, if your teacher decides that for say say you're working on a on a really high end thing like a Photoshop project or something, and the computer and they take you to a computer lab with Photoshop, um, and you need to access your Google stuff and all those things. Of course, it's safe, perfectly safe to log in on those computers, but make sure when you are done that you need to click on sign out so um you know uh sometimes sometimes people are mean and if they go on and they see that your account is open you know they may end up you know going through your email or deleting things or anything like that you know don't want to scare you but i'm just trying to tell you ahead of time um you can avoid a lot of problems and every year i have this problem where uh, a student left their account open and um something bad happened all right so um, that's the only thing. But if you're on your own device at home, um, you know, obviously, you know, you should be okay, obviously, you know, unless you're sharing your computer with siblings or so on. If you are, please, please get out of your account. Simple as that. All right. So, all right. Um, I'm going to leave my email address on, on the uh, thing. If you have any questions, any further questions concerning uh, the Google uh, you know, the Google platform or anything else technology wise, uh, you can email me at any time and I will get back to you. So, um, I wish everybody a great year. I know this is an awkward start for everybody. Um, but, uh, you know, we're central. We'll get, we, we got this, you know, so, um, we'll be good with this. So, all right. So, um, with that, wish you, uh, wish you the best and thank you very much.